Hey guys, even here, so we are starting this video with a guest posing of Patrick Moore. He did a guest posing at NPC Fox Cities Showdown, and this is what he looked like. So based on this video, we can make a lot of conclusions, you can see it clearly, what he looks like right now. So for the off-season, he looks pretty ripped, right? I mean, he looks conditioned, like the abs are looking great, you can even see some uh, glute striations. Uh, he's very, very lean in the off-season, but is he too lean? In one of my previous videos, I showed you when Jay Cutler told Patrick that bodybuilders shouldn't be too pretty in the offseason, that he needs to get a little ugly if he wants to progress. So Patrick, he's staying too pretty, man, I and mean, he looks conditioned for the offseason. I don't know, this is too lean. I'm pretty sure he did a little mini cut for his uh, guest posings, for his couple of shows that he posed at. So he's probably not always this, this lean, but uh, the question is, the main question that everybody's wondering is that did he grow some new tissue? Did he progress? And to be completely honest, I don't really see some crazy changes. I don't think he is much bigger now. He does look bigger, rounder, but that's usually the case when you are in your freaking off season. You gain more water, you get a little bit fatter, and you look rounder and bigger. But do we see some bigger changes? Like, did he really make a lot of gains as much as we expected him to gain, as much as we expected him to grow? No, I don't think he made changes like Nick Walker made these past couple of years, or Hunter Labrada, or Ian Valier. I don't see that. We'll see when he dries down, when he gets cut for conditioning next year, as he announced 2022. But as for now, right now, maybe he, I'm sure he made some progress, but nothing crazy. He doesn't seem much better than the last time. His 2019 to 2020 um, progress? Transformation? No, not even close. He didn't make any progress, basically, in that year. He looked worse, actually, in 2020. So, hopefully, same thing is not gonna happen in 2022. I believe he's gonna be better, but how much better? That's the question. What do you guys think? Alright, Charles Griffin and his legs. That's the biggest question about Charles Griffin. So, he has everything, basically. I mean, not everything, but he has a lot of mess everywhere, pretty much. Like, yeah, the structure is not ideal, the lats are probably too low inserted, uh, the, the waist is not a, a, as small as it could be, it's pretty thick waist, but as far as the muscular development, as far as the size of the muscle, he has everything. The only thing that he was lacking was his legs. And I'm saying was lacking, because based on this photo right here, they don't look small at all. Now, I'm sure this is after a workout, with a pump. So you can get an idea of how big his legs are and they don't look small. Not at all, not in this, in this photo here, no. And they look pretty conditioned as well. So the problem with his legs is the insertions. He doesn't really have the best quad genetics. But what he lacks in genetics, he makes up in probably hard work and a lot of gear, a lot of food, a lot of everything. And his legs apparently grew. So they don't look bigger than the last year. I mean, I don't know how much of this will stay. Because sometimes, like, you get these bodybuilders that are using a lot of insulin in the offseason. And when they use a lot of insulin, a lot of carbs, a lot of all kinds of stuff, you get this bloated, uh, th this full look. And usually when you diet down, a lot of it, a lot of that water weight, that is really just a water weight, goes away. And you end up actually being as small or smaller than you were before. So insulin, that just like a double-edged sword. I mean, most bodybuilders are saying that it's only worth it if you're using, if you're using GH. So very often you can see bodybuilders use just insulin and these crazy insulin protocols, you know, a lot of sugar, a lot of insulin. And they do get this really full look, really round look in the offseason, but when they die down, they, they lose a lot of that volume. So hopefully that's not the case with Charles. Hopefully this is just lean tissue that he added, actual muscle tissue. It's not just water weight and hopefully his legs will be bigger on the stage and that's gonna help his placement for sure. What about Cedric though? So basically after his surgery, after he broke a couple of bones on his, uh, on his hands and a collarbone as well, obviously he wasn't able to train very hard for a while, but now he's back in training and probably he's back at doing all kinds of things, right? Because he grew a lot. Like if you take a look at his, these two selfies that he made, these two selfie videos, he is back, he is back, his, his physique is back. Now, he says, uh, I'm just a damn fatty, uh, but because he probably got a little bit chubby, and probably more chubby than he likes to be in the offseason, but still, it's, it's a great physique, like, he's very lean, like, you can see the abs, you can see a six-pack, so he is lean enough. He gained uh, the muscle back, the volume, he, he regained it after he, after he lost it for not, from not training for a while after the surgery, but he is back at it, he looks huge again, 
And I don't know which show he's gonna do next, but uh, whichever one he does, he's gonna be one of the top contenders for sure. Alright, next is Blessing Awadibu, and he showed us his abs, he showed us his conditioning on his YouTube channel, you can get an idea of how lean he actually is right now, only a few weeks, like two weeks out of a show, and if you ask me, is his conditioning okay for two weeks out or three weeks out, yeah, yeah, I think it's pretty good, I think he's gonna be very conditioned, and I think um, his coach, who is actually Chad Nichols, is gonna push him very hard in these final days or final weeks, so he's gonna get even more ripped with time. He also posted this photo, which is basically a thumbnail of his YouTube video. And you can see here that he, yeah, he has a lot of vascularity now. But no, he doesn't look stage ready at this point. Though he does look very, uh, very 3D, right? Like, very bubbly. I mean, his physique is just popping everywhere. He has the fullness, the roundness. He didn't lose that dieting down. So he kept a lot of muscle and he has that round look that uh, only certain... A genetic elite guys have so he has that now of course indie pro is gonna be his pro debut so i don't really expect him to uh, necessarily win a show but hunter did it and uh, nick walker kind of came close it was a really tough lineup and the blessing he was ready to have a pro debut at the, at the iron classic australia 2019 was it yeah 2019 but it was cancelled so he took another off season so basically he kind of prepped for that uh, for that pro debut and then later he had a rebound so indie pro will be his uh, pro debut and new york pro is gonna be his second pro show and it's all happening in one week apart but basically blessing was a pro three years ago so he had time to make progress and actually look better as a pro he had three years to work on it and he sure as hell did this is what he looks like right now or is it because that photo might be old because this is his uh, recent leg update and it is something that uh, Nick Walker really called him out for many, many times. Like, show us your hamstrings, show us your legs. You can't win only with small waist and wide and wide back. You need to see, we need to see your legs. And you can see a part of Blessing's leg. And you can see the vascularity, you can see the conditioning. So his legs are getting leaner and he seems to be getting in great condition. Uh, I don't think these legs are going to be better than Nick Walker's or anybody else's really. Maybe better than Justin Rodriguez for sure. He has really poor legs. But I don't really find this, this leg right here super impressive. Yeah, the conditioning is there, the vascularity as well, but the shape of the quad, not amazed. I mean, yeah, those legs are pretty good, pretty great, but here is Nick Walker and his legs. So you can get the idea of why I'm basically saying that about Blessing. Why I'm saying that his legs and his leg development and conditioning as well is not really that impressive if you compare it to his biggest opponent, his rival, basically, quote-unquote, uh, Nick Walker whose legs are looking way bigger, thicker, I mean, he is a short guy, especially in the legs, like, his legs are really short, so you can't really get an idea of how big these guy's legs are uh, until he stands on the stage and he stands next to the other bodybuilders, but you can see the vascularity, I mean, yeah, he has varicose veins, <laughs> for sure, on, on, on those calves, and it looks pretty dangerous, but I guess it's, it's not really that bad, it does look really badass, but it looks nasty too, I don't like it, and as far as the upper leg, I don't think that's going, that's happening also there, but he just does have some big ass wings and he does have great conditioning. And as far as the leg size, yeah, those legs are great. It's just too bad that his femoral bone, the, the, the thigh bone, is not as long as he would like. I mean, the proportions are not, are not exactly beautiful, but the legs are looking fine. They're looking big, muscular, shredded, very veiny, very vascular. So yeah, very impressive legs. And for the end, we have an update of Lee Labrada, actually, not Hunter Labrada. Recently, as soon as we hear Labrada, we think of Hunter, because he is definitely way more relevant right now, but Lee Labrada is still on, he still has it. I mean, look at, the, look at the arms. I mean, look at the conditioning. Look at the conditioning, how lean this guy is, what the hell? I'm sure he's doing some kind of protocols and some kind of crazy dieting right now, because this is not something that you can just maintain easily in retirement, for sure. Also, he does look really impressive. I mean, those arms, that conditioning, wow. Just wow. Guys, do you know how old he is? He's actually 61. I mean, he's older than Dorian. He competed in the 80s, guys, in the 80s. So imagine that, he's 61. Look at his face, he looks like he's 45 or something. So he definitely does look a lot younger, a lot younger, and he looks happy, he looks healthy, and he looks really ripped, I mean, really conditioned, jacked and tanned, at 61 years old, 
really impressive really really impressive i did not expect him to look like this so whatever you guys think about this, whatever topic of this video tell me down below in the comment section like this video if you enjoyed it and please subscribe for more videos like this all the best guys and bye bye